So here we have the latest project I'm working on, something I probably shouldn't be playing with, but I'm going to anyway. It's the uh, battery out of an automated external defibrillator. Uh, it has went dead, and you can't buy these batteries anymore. The one you can see here is dated 2011, so it's ancient and dead. Uh, but the system in them is pretty simple. I popped it open here. I've got gloves on in case there was any leakage or anything because I don't really know what's in them. But you can see it's pretty simple here. Specifically this circuit board. It only uses three wires to connect to it. There is a 12 volt hot, a yeah, 12 volt hot, if I could get the wire out of the way, 5 volt hot, and a common ground that they use. It's got small wiring, so they must not be drawing much power. So what I'm going to do is take the old battery out of it and send that to be electronic recycled. I'm sure it's hazardous materials. And with that out of it, I am going to instead convert it to use a power tool battery. Uh, I know I won't be able to use it for as long, but just if it was ever needed, hopefully I'll never need the stupid thing and this was all a waste of time. But if I ever did, and I have something. So what I got here is a couple power converters. These are universal. This will convert anything from 8 to 40 volts to the 5 volt power that's needed. And this other one here will convert, again, 8 volt to 40 volt, but it goes to the 12 volt power. So they just barely fit in here, like so, and like so. And then what I'm going to do instead is the way these packs install, this would be the top side that goes into the machine. Therefore, this is the part that's sticking out. So I'm simply going to drill a hole through here and make it so it ran off the same batteries or battery, uh, yeah, batteries and holders as my lawnmower does, since I keep them right there in the same hallway. This is the charger for the 40 volt lithium batteries. I'm simply going to take it apart and use it as a tool holder. So this will allow me to plug the 40 volt battery in. I'll simply attach it like that. And then when it's installed in the machine, this will stick below the bottom of it, and then you can just snap a 40 volt battery in. Uh, theoretically, it should be work, but full disclosure, I have no idea, so we're going to find out. So now I took the back off of this, which there's four screws here that give you access to this cover. Now when I've done my other mowers, I took this circuit board out, because on this side of it there's these connectors, which you can actually just solder wire straight to it. Uh, what I ended up doing for this, since it's lower power, is I'm going to attempt to leave this on, and I simply solder it onto the back. Ground being this side, hot wire there. And this is a 16 gauge wire, which is bigger than what the uh, battery it had came with. So I'm going to heat shrink this just to make sure that it doesn't abrade or anything like that. And then I will wire the rest of this up. Okay, well I've made it a little farther. I've uh, put the thing together. I drilled a hole through here. Installed my, these are my hot lines coming out of the battery. That worked. I did voltage tests on it. I have spliced it so the hot goes down to the two voltage converters and the ground does. I've tested, this is my 12 volt side and it indeed has 12 volts and my 5 volt side has 5 volts. I've made a mess of my kitchen table but that's okay I'll clean it up afterwards. So now let's put the rest of it together and then I'll have to glue this part down, but I want to finish my testing first. Okay, at this point I've got it all put together. I have the 40 volt battery hooked up on the bottom, which I have tested and it is putting out the voltages, which 
Thankfully, they're really nice and marked them, 12 volts, 5 volts, I have no idea what that is, some sort of uh, testing circuit, and the ground. So, let me pull the cover back so you can see it. I only have one hand, so let me set this down. Okay, resuming. So, you can see what I've got under here. This is that top cover removed. I'm going to have to glue everything together still. But you can see the ground wire there. I've reinforced everything and connected it. Um, so it connects to both grounds. The yellow wire there, the first one, goes from the 5 volt. And you can follow it and it runs right down here to the 5 volt converter. And then the 12 volt feed, the bottom one, goes, wraps up and around and... There it is at the 12 volt power side. So everything shows power. Now I'm going to have to glue everything together so it's solid and then I should be able to install it in the machine for final testing. Alright, so I finished gluing this. It's all put together. So it is together and wired. And I tested it to make sure that it works. So I've got my gauge set and when you put this to the ground, and you can see it reads 12 volts, actually 12.29. This one should be 5 volt power, 5.12. Now, for safety sake, so take that out. This is the defibrillator. and it will sit this way. Take that and plug it in. Now, battery low. Place electrodes on patient's bare chest. Of course, it's probably not able to read the battery level because it's not a regular battery system hooked up into Place it. Place electrodes on patient's bare chest. But, does indeed work. I'm not going to test it out to find out. That's the one sad thing about this experience. Place electrodes on patient's bare chest. I have no way to actually test it, but I do have the electrodes and things that came with. Place the electrodes on patient's bare chest. Of course, it will say battery low, but this ought to be plenty of battery power here. The uh, battery in watt hours is bigger than the original. It was a 72 watt hour battery which would be um, 7,200 milliwatts and it had in the old battery is only 5,000 so this is actually a plenty of juice it just can't read it anymore so anyway I have no idea if this will actually work and I hope I never have to find out but uh, hopefully this was helpful to somebody who likes to do electronic experiments or at least interesting hope you enjoyed this video